long time ago in the city of Nazareth, there was a woman named Mary. Mary was promised to marry a man named Joseph, who lived there too. One day, an angel from God came and talked to Mary. He told Mary she was going to have a baby. Mary, you're going to have a baby. He will be the Son of God. And then the angel left. Now Joseph wasn't sure what to do when he heard Mary was going to have a baby. So one night, while he was asleep, the angel came to talk to him too. Joseph, Mary is going to have a baby. It's okay for you to take care of her on the baby. You will name the baby Jesus. Okay. And so that's just what he did. Well, later, the emperor in Rome, Caesar Augustus, said that everyone had to go to their own hometown and be counted. So Mary and Joseph went to the town of Bethlehem to be counted, because Joseph was of the house and line of David, and Bethlehem was known as the city of David. There are lots of other people there, too. There are so many people there, in fact, that there's no room for them in the inn. So Mary and Joseph stayed in a stable, which was a place for animals to stay warm and dry. There is a cow there. There was a sheep there. There is a chicken there. And Mary and Joseph stayed there, too. While they were there, baby Jesus was born, and Mary took him and wrapped him up warm and laid him in a manger. That night, there were some shepherds out in the fields watching over their flocks of sheep. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I bring you good news. The Savior, which is Christ the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem. You will find him wrapped in soft cloth, lying in a manger. And all of a sudden, there are lots of angels saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, goodwill to men. And then the angels left. And when the angels had left, the shepherds went and found the baby Jesus in the manger, just as they had been told. And when they found him, they worshipped him. Not far away, in a place called Jerusalem, there lived an evil king named Herod. One day, after baby Jesus has been born, wise men came to Jerusalem, Jerusalem looking for the newly born king of the Jews. They asked King Herod where he was. So the king asked his advisors, Where is this king of the Jews to be born? In Bethlehem. In Bethlehem, go and find him so I can worship him too. So the wise men went and found baby Jesus by following his star. When they found him, they worshipped him. But King Herod did not really want to worship baby Jesus. He wanted to harm him. The wise men were warned by God about this, so they went home a different way. When the king found out he was tricked, he was really mad. Ah, I am really mad. <laughs> he was determined to destroy this newborn king. So King Herod sent his soldiers to Bethlehem to find the baby Jesus. Go and find him and destroy him. But God warned Joseph in a dream to get out of there. <laughs> get out of there. And so they did. And so Joseph and Mary and the little baby Jesus went to Egypt, and they stayed there until the evil King Herod died. After King Herod died, God told Joseph it was safe to come back because the people who wanted the child dead had now died. <laughs> you can come back now. It's safe. Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus came back from Egypt, and they went to live in the town of Nazareth again. And that's where baby Jesus grew up, until he was grown. And so now you've heard it all about how God sent his son 
to be born as a baby so that later he could save everyone from their sins. And all it took was just a little Christmas. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill to men. Yeah. Good job.
Awesome. Let's give him one more hand.